Welcome to Quick Bites. Sim the World here making five star dishes in Cooking Simulator. Today we're tackling the Chinese egg drop soup. I know before we've done the easy version, it was certainly easy. You just had to pour some chicken broth in a bowl and away you went. Uh, today we will tackle the regular version. So to a pot we will have one liter of water. We'll add seven grams of salt and pepper. Let's go ahead and do that. I have the water set aside already, of course. We'll add seven grams of salt and pepper each. And to that, we will follow the instructions exactly. Because remember, if you don't stack it right, things won't cook right. So the chicken leg goes in. Next goes 700 or 210 grams of carrots followed by one onion and one clove of garlic. So this is in the pot, it should be ready to go. And of course I messed it all up. So let me redo this and we'll be back in a second. All right, so we're back. I just wanted to shake it around a bit and make sure that carrot fell in all the way. Um, so this is going to boil for 120 seconds. So we're gonna set a timer and start cooking for two minutes. Well, that's cooking, we can prepare everything else. So let's do the garnish real quick. Um, that's gonna be, we need two scallions. We will take them apart. If you pick them up, it gives you the option to separate. We'll separate both. The half that we want, the uh, leaves, of course, fall onto the floor. So we'll take that, uh, put them together. We can get rid of these bottom pieces and we'll cut those into quarters. Let's do that real quick. You can see sometimes it doesn't like to quarter properly. Yep, come on. Cut that last piece, the last piece cut anytime. There it goes. So we have we have roughly what we need. It could have been better cut. So we're still waiting, we're a minute in. We can crack those eggs and get them blended while we wait. Again, you crack it, uh, you hold the egg in your hand and then you can put it into the, um, the blender. I don't know why that wasn't just popping in. It'll lift it up here and float over. All right, both are in. We'll process that up. And that should be good enough. All right, so the egg is blended. We need to wait another 15 seconds. It looks like the soup is done, but we're just waiting for that chicken leg to finish cooking all the way. Obviously, the garlic is burnt to hell. But we're rounding up now on two minutes, so we'll cut it here. So like the direction said, get rid of everything. To make it easy, I'm just going to take a plate and pick everything up. And we'll throw it all out, including the plate. So to this, yeah, I turned the oven off. <laughs> to this, we will... Uh, Transfer that to the pot and then continue to cook for 60 seconds. So be careful. It is not liking this whatsoever. All right. I think it worked. I think it worked. It wasn't pouring well out of this. Maybe we should have put it in a bowl first. For you guys, put it in a bowl and then transfer the bowl of eggs into the pot. But let's go ahead and boil this for another 60 seconds. And then we'll season it. All right, we are almost at 60 seconds now. I'm gonna cut the heat. So that's boiled. It doesn't really look like it cooked any further. So let's add the salt, the pepper, and the sesame oil. So again, five grams of salt. 
and two grams of white pepper. Not regular, but white. And then 10 milliliters of the sesame oil. Pour is quick, so don't over pour now that you're this far in. And this will then cook for another 30 seconds. I will mention we probably could have just used the uh, our favorite tool, the ladle, to take that egg out of the blender, and that would have worked just as well. Though we will uh, we will use our ladle here in a minute. I don't think the soup is going to cook 100%. This is very strange. But we're following the instructions, so that's what matters. We are going to try to hit that five stars exact. So we're 30 seconds in. We'll cut the heat. Let's go ahead and get ready to serve. This really does not look like the, um, the pitcher. The pitcher looks nice and dark. This, however, does not. But we have 300 milliliters in the bowl. We have our sliced scallions. Let's serve it up. I will say it doesn't look much different than the easy version. Let's see if we get our five stars. And we did. There's a little sliver right on the tip there. Uh, I don't know what they're complaining about. Like, I really, maybe it was the slicing job on the scallions wasn't exactly perfect. But we did get the full, full points, and you do have a pot that will get you two more bowls of five-star dishes. So this is a good one to upgrade to. It's something you can cook in your preparation phase and then heat up when you're uh, playing through your campaign. Hopefully this was helpful if you're struggling with this dish, getting the perfect scores. If there's any other dishes that you're struggling with getting uh, five stars in the campaign, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. I'll be checking those out. And with that, thanks for watching as I simulate my life one game at a time. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the future action. You can follow on Twitter for updates of future games being played, as well as follow on Twitch as I try to stream three days a week. Thanks! And I'll see you next time at Sim the World. So I'm sure you guys were just like me wondering if we can uh, get away with the chicken broth method we used last time. Uh, so to make this easier to serve, I just poured the chicken broth into a pot. We'll go ahead and ladle that into our bowl. You don't need to bother with heating up. It works for the easy version. Let's just see if this will get us any uh, any points for the the regular version too. Bon appetit! <laughs> we get we get three and a half stars. Still just giving them um, chicken broth. That's funny. Yeah, chicken broth was unwanted. Not enough salt or white pepper. But the technique and temperature was perfect, so if you're in a pinch, it works. Another uh, quick upgrade and a quick tip.